there, naked ladies. Corn dogs all around. Thanks, corn dog waitress. I'm starving. Mm. <coughs> oh. 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 These corn dogs oh. suck. Oh, tell me about. about Guys, Steven's choking. Who, who knows the Heimlich? I, I think I remember. <laughs> you gonna finish that? I'm cool. Cool? When was the last time we had a good corn dog? I think it was when we were playing the mall of North America. Right, right. We hooked up with those, those two guys. What were their names again? Winter in Minnesota. I ask you, does it get any better? I don't think I can make it. <coughs> Come on, it's just over the hill, Gare. Don't give up. If I can do it, so can you. Mike, you're not even pushing. Yeah, that's because I'm navigating. Hello? Oh, of course you are. There she is, Gary. The Mall of North America. Inside the belly of that beast lie 6,752 stores, and we've got coupons for every single one of them. <laughs> we play our cards right, we could live off the fat of the mall for the whole freaking winter, partner. Expired? Nine years ago. What are we gonna do, Mike? We haven't eaten in three days, the car's busted, we're broken, I can't feel my feet. Down on your luck, huh, boys? Hey, promise me you'll only use that psychic gift for good there, Gramps. <laughs> Say, how'd you boys like a job here at Corn Diggity Dog? Dad, we can't afford two workers. We're barely getting by as it is. Sweetheart, these kids need a helping hand. <sighs> Forgive my daughter, Rachel. Since her mother passed 15 years ago, she's been a little emotional. How about it? Then, you take that dog and you dip it in the batter, like so. Next, you stick it in for 45 and a half seconds. Dim finish, tell you love her, and get the hell out of there. <laughs> Come on, Mike, we're in training. Now, once she's done... You serve her with a smile. <laughs> When's somebody gonna eat my dog? But we haven't been serving too many smiles since they moved in. When's somebody gonna eat my dog? Whoop, whoop, whoop it down. When's somebody gonna eat my dog? Whoop, whoop, whoop it down. Yo, when's somebody gonna eat my dog? What do people see in that place? Gee, yeah, that's a real puzzler. Kids, never forget. At Corn Diggities, we don't just sell corn dogs. We sell greens. Deep fried on a stick. Very touching, old man. What are you doing here, Whitland? I've got a little business proposal that I think you'll be very interested in. We'll talk in the back. I don't want decent folks to see me with the owner of porn dogs. All right, Mike, I guess it's just you and me. Uh, actually, it's just you. I gotta go drain the corn dog. Well, it is kind of slow. Excuse me! Wait! Chacho with cheese! Stray Mike and spay it with onions. Five pit bulls, a rabbit rottweiler, and a little fries, and hold the mustard on that, okay? Chacho con queso! Hey, look, no, hey, hey, pal! Yeah, hey, hey mom! Hey, 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 no hey, 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 Hi, can I help you? I feel a little silly doing this, but my wife and I are having our fifth anniversary. And well, she's just about your size. So would you mind uh, trying something on for me? Oh, not at all. Five years. Mm, that is so sweet. Come on, what is this? Prudes or us? Let's see some skin, mama. Sir, I've tried on everything in the store. Plus, I feel really dirty. Now, could you please make a decision? All right, I'll take a catalog, one of your lotion samples, and be on my way. It's a very generous offer, Mr. Whitley. We're not selling. If I leave without a deal, Pops, the offer's off the table. Dad, the bank's about to foreclose. You'll never take corn diggities. You're a dinosaur, Pops. And soon you'll be extinct. <laughs> Fifth anniversary, and she's just about your size, so would you mind trying something up for me? Of course I. <gasps> Oh my god, bare naked ladies! Can I help you? We feel a little silly doing this, but we're having our fifth wedding anniversary with our wives. Hey, save it, guys. She's already helping me. All right. Just give us five catalogs, five of your lotion samples, and we'll be on our way. How'd it go, kid? Not so great, Pops. I'm driving your customers away. Here. I don't deserve to wear this. I'm the worst corn dogger that ever lived. But Gary, if you quit now, you're only quitting on yourself. Will you do me a favor, son? Sure, Pops, anything. Will you give yourself a chance? Okay. 
I will. Now get back in the game! <laughs> Sorry, here you go. Gary, I want to show you something. Well, who's that? That eager beaver was me on the day I won the world corn dog competition. Wow, you were world champ. That's right, Gary. And I think you could be too. Really? Yes, sir. All right now, don't think. Just feel the dog and catch it. There you go, kid. Now, try it on your own. What's he doing? Starting to believe. Junkyard dog, corn dog with onions. Gary, I Rabbit was thinking... dog, red pepper corn dog with jalapeno. Hey, Gary. Salty the... dog, corn dog dipped in vinegar and clam sauce. Okay, so you're still not talking to me. Well, give me a break. You bailed on me today. Bailed? I was getting supplies. Say goodbye to those dry elbows forever. It's not funny, Mike. I'm not going to let you take advantage of Pops the way you always take advantage of me. Oh, come on, Gary. Don't, Mike. I think it might be best if you slept in the sofa section tonight. Okay, okay, you win. Guard dog. That's more like it. Pickles, onions, just No, guard dog! <laughs> Easy, boy! Easy! Ah! When you're done here, you better come to work, Mike. I'm serious. Would you relax? I'll be there in... about an hour. Now have a Sisters of Sappho dog. Mm-hmm. Uh. Here you go, sir. Sir! I changed my mind. the kid. He's the best I've ever seen. Keep an eye on that one. Oh, 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 I'm so fantastical. Oh, I'm so fantastical. All right, Newton. Oh. Turn in your dog tag. What? Uh, but why, Pops? Because you just became my new shift manager. <laughs> Jeez, Pops, do you really think I'm ready? <laughs> You've been ready your whole life. You just didn't know it. You could be the one, kid. One? Do you mean the best corn dogger ever? You got the talent. Now you just gotta want it. Oh, I do, Pops. I do. I really, really do. Hey, Gary. Sorry I'm a few minutes late. You're six hours late. All right. Quitting time. No, Mike. All right. Overtime. Mike, Pops made me shift manager. All right. I want a raise, and I need tomorrow off. No, no. No raise, no time off, and to make up for all the time you've missed, you're going to clean the grease traps right now. You're serious? Don't I look serious? Now clean the traps. Looks clean to me. Do it, Mike, or we're going to have what we call in the corn dog industry a situation. Well, how about this for a situation? Kiss my shiny new recrafted ass. You leave me no choice, Michael. Turn in your ears and snout. You're fired. Fired? You fire me, and you fire our friendship. Friendship? Look, all you've ever done is take advantage of me, and I've had enough. Hey, moron, I'm hungry here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a career to attend to. You're going to be sorry, Gary. Look. Gary Newton's taking your customers, and I can get them back. So, you're as good as Pop's little wiener wizard? Anything that asthmatic four-eyed geek can do, I can do way better. Dazzle me. We're still losing customers. What'll we do now? First we put them out. Then it's on to plan B. What if that doesn't work? It will. 
I'm banking on it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Pops, man, they can't get a... Is something wrong? And how, kid? We're going out of business. What? Corn dogs bought the note on this place from the bank. Unless I get Whitland ten grand by Fratty, Corn Diggity's is his. Oh, so that's it? There's just no way I can come up with that kind of money that quick, kid. It's impossible. Oh, is it? You're crazy, Gary! She's right. I'm just a bag of bones, and, and you, you're a rookie. So what, we just quit? A very wise man once told me, when you quit, you're only quitting on yourself. But the competition is tomorrow. Maybe if I had a year, but a day? Pops, you said I was the one. <sighs> Kid, you're going to work harder than you ever worked in your life. He's a crazy dog. Hey, Mr. W, I've been thinking, let's get that fire extinguisher a little closer to the stage. Of course, Mike, of course. But first, uh, could you settle a little wager between me and uh, Mr. Barbella here? I bet that you remembered the combination to Corn Diggity Dog's front door, while he bet that you would not. What am I, an idiot? Collect your money, boss. It's 63, 27, 34. Thank you, Michael. You've been most helpful. Most helpful indeed. <laughs> <laughs> it's incredible, kid. You mastered the double inverted torque slide in a day. Well, then bring on the triple. <laughs> what happened? Gary, the triple inverted torque slide killed my mother. My folks were in the finals. They were about to win the gold. They didn't have to do the triple inverted torque slide, but Pops wanted to dazzle the crowd. With the triple, everything has to be precision perfect. But Pops was a tenth of a second off with his throw. Well, that's all it took. So sorry. Oh, you couldn't have known. But you're bringing up all those old feelings and Pops, and you're making him dream again, and you're making me dream again, too. I'm so scared. Gary, hold me. Is that a corn dog in your pocket? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, that's my practice dog, sorry. So am I. Pops, I'm sorry. No, Gary, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to slap you. I guess when you deep fry the woman you love, it does something to a man. Well, why don't you get some shut eye, Gary? Big day tomorrow. You got it, Pops. Doris, I think we're gonna be okay. <gasps> Who's there? The store's closed. What do you want? <coughs> no! Please, please, no, don't! Not corn hands! No, no, no! Ah! Pops, it's going to be okay. We can still win the competition. Oh, it's over, Gary. The corn dog cup's a forearm event, and no one's winning squat with these oven mitts. I guess I'm going to lose the place to Whitland after all. <laughs> but we, we gave it our best shot, eh, kid? Yeah, Pops, we did. We sure did. Put your hands together and give it up for Bambi. Serving it up doggy style over at stage three. I've got an idea for my next act. 
I'm gonna need some blasting caps and a cannon. Sorry, Michael. Since you gave us the combination to corn diggity dog, you are no longer of use to us. You're fired. You fire me, and you fire our friendship. Oh, and you might want to visit your old boss at Burns Bandages and Beyond. We couldn't have put him there without you. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, I'm gonna miss you, you old doghouse. And I miss my best friend. Mike! Buddy, I'm the reason Pops got attacked. Oh, what do you mean? Oh, Whitlin got the combination of the store from me. Oh my god, did they torture you? That's not important. What is important is that I realized you were right. I do take advantage of you. Gary, I've been a real jerk and I'm sorry it'll never happen again. No, it's not all your fault, Mike. I shouldn't have put my career ahead of our friendship. Well, just don't let it happen again. Sorry. Well, I guess there's no point in us sticking around here anymore. Well, what about the competition? Pops will lose the store. Now oh, it's too late. You need two people. Well, what about me? Mike, it's impossible. The competition's in 20 minutes. Maybe if I had an hour. Just give me one more chance, Gary. I won't let you down. Not this time. Mike? You're gonna work harder than you've ever worked in your entire life. He's a crazy nut! He's a crazy nut! Yes, he is! Okay, Mike, that was really good. We gotta go. Welcome, everybody, to the Corn Dog World Cup Competition Finals, live from the Mall of North America. I'm Stu Nahan, and now representing Corn Dogs, Destiny and Starla. And for Corn Diggity Dogs, Gary Newton. And wait, there's been a last minute substitution, an unknown by the name of Mike Bonner. This is going to be even easier than I thought. <laughs> And now, to honor America with our national anthem, one of my favorite bands, Bare Naked Ladies. Ladies, start your engines. What's this? Uh, looks like we have a last minute substitution. Performing instead of Bare Naked Ladies is another one of my favorite bands, Razor Cat. Oh, oh man. Freaking Razor Cat. Always ripping off our gigs. It's the Finkelstein Bar Mitzvah all over again. The games begin. Here comes their first exercise. Oh my, a perfect Bavarian toss. And it looks like the judges agree with a 9.3. And now, Team Diggity. Ooh, a seven. Boy, it could be a long night for Newton and Bonner. Ooh, the judges have given Corn Diggity Dog a 3.8 on that last exercise. And that's what you get for just showing up. As an announcer, I'm not supposed to say this, but this thing is over. Unless, of course, they try the triple inverted torque slide. No, Gary. I lost my mother. And I don't want to lose you, too. Look, it's the only way. Mike, don't let him do it. It's his show. Whatever Gary says goes. Can I count on you? The wieners will be there, partner. As God is my witness, the wieners will be there. Wait a minute, I've just been handed something. This can't be right. Team Diggity is going to attempt the triple inverted torque slide. What? Don't do it, Gary. You've got so much to live for. To all you parents out there, you might not want to let your children watch this. Time to kick some corn dog ass. I 
knew it. Damn that kick. I have seen them come and go, but Gary Newton is the greatest corn dogger ever. And that's how Gary and Mike saved corn diggity dogs. Wow, that was some story, bare naked ladies. I wonder what ever happened to those guys. Mm, I'll tell you one thing. <laughs> Hey, guys, Steven's choking again. Not again. <laughs> You're watching Comedy Central. If you thought freshman year was rough, wait till you see it animated. Stick around for undergrads. Coming up next...